we start with the chart. Just I want to give a quick update. And as we can see, if you if you refer to our analysis, first when the price was within this one, we discussed about the price break the lowest price of this correction, flowing by divergence. As we can see, the price broke the lowest price. Even if you refer to the indicators, we see we have a divergence. That's why from now, if you get any opportunity for buy as a reversal, we will take it. This is what we're looking for. And based on daily chart, we can look for 360 following by 405 as a daily target. By the way, as we can see, the price is reversing, but we don't see any trade setup yet. And uh, if we move to lower time frame, and even based on forward chart, as we can see, the price reverse. And even if you refer to the indicators based on forward chart, as we can see, we have a di we had a divergence. And to look for next trade, we have to wait for flag or correction before we take the next trade. And as we can see, the price almost broke the this correction. Okay. And based on lower time frame, based on forward chart, we can look for 285 following by 300 as a short term target. Mostly we want to see the breakout of this one for continuation. Anyway, based on forward chart, we don't have any trade setup. And if we move to lower time frame, based on one hour chart, right now I'm looking at this. Any opportunity for buy as a flag or correction from here, we will take it. And we can look for continuation. And for those traders, they get the trade for buy within this one, at least move their stop loss to break even or book some profit. But if we see, we refer to one of the, the indicators, we see we have a divergence, but MACD doesn't show us a divergence. That's why we don't need to really care about the divergence. If we get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it, but we have to see the continuation as a sharp move. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.